Hey guys, Gossip and Reactions, Marie Stick. To all those YouTubers, to all the black men and women who stated that they were not going to support Kamala Harris, well, let me tell you guys something. If you have brothers, sisters, black kids that you know under this former president, if they were a hoodie, their life can be taken. If they are on the street at the wrong time in the wrong neighborhood, their life can be taken just because this man is in the right house. The Confederate flag and trucks going around letting you know they don't care how you feel about what happened to our ancestors. Stop being ignorant. Stop being dumb and stupid. Stop trying to judge this woman as if she's not black enough. She never claimed to be black and support VP Kamala Harris. Because when you look at the whole scenario, you have two choices, right? Men, whether it's white, older men, because not all of them I see having that kind of mindset. Or black men, or some jealous black women. I said, I'm not going to support Kamala Harris. Men want to be in charge. And they want to see a white man in charge to feel comfortable, to feel like they've been protected. In reality, it's not true. They don't care for you. Okay. And that's how we ended up with two older white men in the White House. I don't know why they feel protected because the person is an older white man as if this is their god i don't understand the logic behind it so of course to those men they feel that they are so masculine they cannot have a woman taking charge they cannot have a woman in charge of the usa like are you serious do you hate your mother your sister, your own kids that much that you do not want to see somebody who resemble your children, your mother, your family members in charge of this country. You're going to follow this older white guy that you need somebody who's cognitively declining, doesn't even know what he's saying because of the hatred you have for each other. You cannot see yourself vote for a black woman in America. Time has changed. There was more evolution. Things change. You cannot be thinking in your same old ways. You cannot be going back saying, well, when she was a prosecutor, she put black men in jail for no reason. When can we look at ourselves and say we were wrong for certain things we were doing? And you pay for the consequences. So you have to blame somebody for your wrongdoing. Now you're saying, I'm not going to vote for this woman. And, and I have seen the most disgusting thing women are saying about Kamala House. Harris, please forgive me. As if she slept her way in. Like she slept with married men to get to that level. Well, she did well, I will tell you. She must have slept with the right person to now not only be VP, possibility to be president of this great country. Well, she did the right thing because some of us are sleeping with the wrong guys. They ain't doing shit for us. So I don't understand the logic behind disrespecting somebody who went to school, educate themselves, get their way into become a VP, now possibly president of the United States. And we cannot support that? I, I don't get it. We hate each other so much. I mean... Look at the perfect example. We have this former president, not in good shape physically, mentally, mumbling, mum, mumbo, mumbo, saying all kind of crap, people clapping. We don't even know what the hell he's saying. Being convicted of 34 felonies, being convicted of raping women, fraudulent. So many things can go wrong for this man. If you go down the line, impeachment twice. This man don't belong near the White House. He can even vote for himself. People are willing to vote for him. Now you're telling me a black person looking at this man thinking he's the right choice. When you have two choices, 
he's the right person to put in the right house. So you want to go backward instead of forward. You want division instead of unity. That's what you want. And if you get it, don't let it on come say, well, I wish I had changed my vote. Because I've seen some idiot try to change their votes in the 2020 election. 2016 election, sorry. When this former president was there. I wish I could, let me take my vote back. Like, ignorant. What are they going to do for you now? The man is already there. So now is the time to put our differences aside. Whether she claimed to be black or not, at the end of the day, it's in her. We see it. Her dad was a black Jamaican guy. Her mom was Indian. So when you look at this woman, we see her as an aunt, a sister, cousin, because there was different shades of black in the black community. We have the darkest to the lightest. We have blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes. We have all shades of black. So for you to say she doesn't even look black, you are out of your mind and your racism and sexism is going too far. We are all supposed to drop all the differences we have, support Kamala Harris, because the other choice is not the best choice to have. It is not the best choice. Stop being ignorant. Open your eyes. Wake up and smell the coffee. Vote for the person who is going to continue the great job President Biden started to finish up what was continued, what was started. Because at the end of the day, guys, when you don't see one of our sisters or brothers to be on top of the game to take us with them so we can change our lives the other group are going to only think about their friends their billionaire friends their millionaire friends give them tax cut when was the last time you bought a house because of what this former president did for you and your community I don't understand it. I've seen a lot of YouTubers trying to prove to us that Kamala Harris is not the right person for the bid. Then who is? Who is? I don't get it. I don't understand the logic behind the whole crap, period. Charleston White calling the woman out of her name. He ain't going to vote for H-O something, for B-I-T. Who are you? A black woman gave birth to you. I'm sure you have sisters and brothers. Kids that look like Kamala Harris. It's not about the skin tone. But you can tell the woman has black in her. So when you say that, that means you don't want your own blood to be president of the United States. It's a great thing to see now a woman can say, you know what, I can be the president, the next president of the United States. Okay? I don't care how dirty, I don't care how you treat me. But you know what? I'm not just a baby mama. I can also be a wife. I can also be the president and the vice president of the United States. You see how the former president see black people? He said immigrants take jobs from black people and Latinos. So you're saying those jobs were only meant to be for black and Latinos? I, I never thought of it this way. I thought if you qualify, you, you went to school, you have the experience, you can get the job period and president joe biden said i know what black jobs are vice president of the united states and president of the united states was president barack obama which i have something to take with him because i don't understand three days later he's still not supporting Kamala harris i don't know what's in it for him why he's not doing it again subscribe let me know how you feel why black people cannot put their differences aside to support Kamala harris let me know how you feel. Thank you for watching. Bye.